Hey, what's up, Lightbulb Show here. Today we are going to discuss the 2021 Amazon Prime original show, Invincible. So this is eight episodes long for season one. Season two comes out the end of 2023, I believe. It takes a while to make these, and I don't know why, because it is technically a cartoon, but it's short episodes. Well, it's, okay, no, it's 40 to 50 minute long episodes, and there's eight of them. So I guess in hindsight, it does take a while to make these. So this is based on the best-selling comics of the same name, Invincible, which ran from, I don't remember, they ran a while, Image Comics, I believe, made them, and Robert Kirkman is a co-writer of the comics, and he's a co-creator of the show. So, again, it's nice to have the creator of the property work on the actual adaptation of it, and I do love the fact that it's cartoon, because it's the literal characters from the comics in a, in, in a show. It, it's just so cool. They change some tiny minor details on characters, but... That's really, that's really all I could find on that. So I was nervous. I was nervous starting this because Robert was a, was he an executive producer on The Walking Dead on AMC? And he's, that's his, that's his stories, right? He wrote the comics, you know, which were also Image. Yeah, Image. Yeah, he's a co-author for Image, Walking Dead. I have all the Walking Dead books. I don't have any Invincible books yet. So... I didn't like the show because of how different it was compared to the comics. It wasn't an adaptation of the comics. It was extremely loosely based on the comics of the same name, of the graphic novels of the same name. So when, when a friend um, had super suggested I watch Invincible, it was on my list of things to watch. I just didn't have the gung-ho you know, desire to watch it because, again, I was nervous. It was another Robert Kirkman book turned TV series and... How unfortunate Walking Dead turned into, you know, differentiating from the from the actual source material. So I was nervous. But again, I didn't read Invincible, so I I had nothing to compare it to, which is convenient, I guess. It's a catch-22. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So I'm watching this, and I, I forget that Stephen Ewan is the voice of the character of Mark Grayson, who is, who's the who's Invincible, 17-year-old high school student. And I was like, ah, so when you're not... When you, if you're like looking at your phone quick and like you're just listening, you're like, "Ha, huh, that's the voice of Keith from Voltron," and it's just funny because he's now doing another voice character. And Voltron was so incredible, incredible. He did a fantastic job as Keith's character in Voltron, Legendary Defender uh, Voltron. And so I was like, very excited then to see the rest of this. And J.K. Simmons is the voice of his dad, Omni Man. Sandra O oh is the voice of his mom. So you have a great cast of characters. And then the more I'm listening, the more I'm like, wait a minute, I know that voice. And it's just so many well known actors and actresses voicing these characters in this eight episode, you know, season one of, of this show. And I was like, this is awesome. And so many Walking Dead actors and actresses did cameo voice acting for this project while working with, you know, Robert. So it's it's just cool having like actors come together. Um, I say this many times. I, I, I love watching that. This show is awesome. But it is a heavy combo, combo of the style, action, thriller, adult dialogue and uh, uh, violence aspect of Legend of Vox Machina meets... The comedic, comic bookish team coming together to defeat the bad guy of the Big Hero 6 TV series on Disney. So it's just such an, it's a beautiful balance of both. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the adult aspect of it. I love the horror aspect of it. I love the conflicting, what should I do next aspect of it? Do I defeat my father? Can I defeat my father? What happens next? And it's just so fun. Like Seth Rogen plays this character, this, this Martian character a couple times. Uh, in two different episodes, and a be beautiful character development for everyone. But it's just neat having this come together, and I really like that I can do a comparison. It's Vox Machina meets the Big Hero 6 TV series smooshed together to create Invincible. Love it. I love the humor of it. I love the drama of it. I love the inner conflict of it. I love the truth revealing of it. The last two episodes were just incredible because what would you do what would you do if someone who is as strong as superman decides to then you know has the objective of actually wiping out the planet instead of saving the planet and we we bring this question up within the uh what was that sh what was that movie 
One of the Gunn brothers directed it. I can't remember the name of it. It was Elizabeth Banks plays a mom, and it was the same concept. A kid comes from another planet, and they raise them as their own, but then the kid has, you know, Superman kind of abilities, but, like, what happens if the kid decides to just murder everyone and not be the hero, quote-unquote, that they're supposed to be, quote-unquote? What the hell was the name of that? It was a good, it was a good comparison to that, too. Nah, the word is just not coming about. It's not coming about. It was a great film, and I can't remember it. Can't remember the name. Oh, dishonor. Dishonor on me, dishonor on my family, dishonor on a cow. Dishonor everywhere. But Invincible Season 1 was awesome. I have, I have high expectations now for Season 2, whenever that does premiere. And it's been over two years since the first one came out, since the first season came out. So I'm very excited. Uh, can't wait. And I have to read the books. I have to add it to my list of things to, to read. I just don't have time to do these things anymore. So we're going to figure that out. Figuring that out. Got to read the books. I saw the compendium at Newberry Comics the other day. Compendium 1. It was gorgeous. It was so thick. It was hardcover. It was gorgeous. I need it. On to the next review. Wish I'm hollow. <laughs>